Okay, so we're just introducing the pod options for the Cabrina mask, it's a carbon version. As you can see, the actual mask shape is not symmetrical at any point. So there has to be two different pods for this particular brand and other brands. If you want to have your surf variant, which ranges down here close to the board, and then the variant that you'd need if you want to do just e-foiling around. Um, so we wanted to explain this specifically because if you don't do this one right, this mast and pod won't fit very well. You've got to do it in the right spot and it will. So because of this curved tapering on the back and there's a slight tapering on the front, to get the surf version pod, which is what you would use for catching waves and foiling around, you have to install the pod. It basically kind of almost cuts through the cab lettering but assuming that lettering isn't always in the same spot before I do this up it's approximately 18 centimeters to the center line of the pod from the base of the mast if you don't put it here the two halves won't clamp up flush together which I'll show you in a second and it's important you try and run it in this position if you desperately don't want to run it in this position you can move it down but you will have to adjust the bolts in a very systematical order to try and get these two halves to close up to one another we would love to make it one size fits all but unfortunately just due to the bizarre shape of this specific mast the geometries don't work so we recommend run at 18 centimeters if you want to go further down you can move it a couple of centimetres and pack the nose out with a few layers of tape around the leading edge. But other than that, just due to the shape of this mast, there's not much choice. So if I run it at 18 centimetres, which is what we recommend, which from our experience is actually a pretty good all-round number for surf foiling. There we go. So now the gap has closed. Normally, the pods are designed to have a very small gap between them to allow clamping force around a mast that's more symmetrical. But in this particular one, there is no gap because we need the pod to pull up tight against either half because it can't reliably clamp on a tapering surface that actually falls away in width. It'll naturally want to fall down. So that's, as I said, 18 centimetres to the centre line of the pod, and it fits beautifully. As for the e-foil version, which you're only really going to ever want to buy one of these if you specifically want to run the cable down here, run as long as you can for e-foiling around. That needs to be positioned at exactly 15 centimetres down from this section of the mast. This is an 80 centimeter mast, um, and that's what we make the pods for at the moment. No other mast other than the 80 centimeter. Again, if they change length of mast, it's a different tape all over again. It also goes without saying, but we'll cover this anyway, these pods are not interchangeable. What I mean by that is you can't run the conventional pod down here as an e-foil, and you can't run the e-foil pod up here as a surf version they have to be in their own individual sp spots that's why we make two different versions just making that 100 percent clear